God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes, you are worshipper. But you must worship God alone. You don't want to worship anything else with God. Because if you see different other religions, you will associate a partner with God. You know, like intermediary. So in Islam, we don't have the intermediary options. If you don't believe, or if you like don't know about God, uh -huh. uh, you're like from a tribal society or something, what, yeah. happens, what happens to you die, after you die? Okay, so if this is called, um, Prophet Islam mentioned that those who doesn't know about, and there will be people who will not know about it, so they will be asked question on the Day of Judgment. So God will test them on the Day of Judgment. But if you already hear about Prophet Muhammad and hear the message, and you have the internet, you know now Muslim, you come to the park, you get to know about Muslim, you got the Quran, and now you have, don't, you don't have the option of not hearing the message. Now you are close to the Islam, now you hear the message, now it's your duty to follow it. How does that sound? Well, that makes sense, but... If it is makes sense, well, you should accept it, isn't it? I'll, I'll read this, definitely, but... You, so, you would hell if you, if you don't pray, uh, if you so don't basically, pray. the ultimate judgment belongs to God alone. God will know exactly how much information you have received. Based on that, God will test you on the day of judgment and in the grave. And then God will place you either in the heaven or the hell based on what you have done. But God tells us clearly that if you believe, do righteous work, then God will place you in the heaven. Not because of your deeds, but because of the mercy of God. So you will attain mercy if you worship God. So even if I've seen before, I will... No, let's say you, you, have, you have a long life and you, was, you sinned for last 20 years, 25 years. The moment you accept Islam, God will forgive all your previous sin. So you will be like a newborn baby. But if you sin after... After, then... There is a tawbah, we have repentance. So Allah said, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to kill someone to forgive your sin, but rather you ask me with the sincerity. Allah said, Tawbatan Nasuha, you ask repentance with the sincere intention. Then Allah will forgive you with three conditions that knowing that you stay away from the sin, make sure you make a condition that you're not going to do it and you act upon it. Once you fulfill that condition, Allah will accept your repentance. Is all sin equally terrible? Sorry? Is all sin equally so there are major sin and the minor sin. So some of them are grave sin. Like for example, the gravest sin in the sight of God is taking partner with God. Imagine who gives rain, who gives life, the creator of the heavens and the earth, right? Now if you, for this reason, you should worship him alone. Now instead of worshiping him, you start to worship a man, Jesus, or a statue, or a stone. In different religion, use intermediary. So what you have done, you have taken God's right and given it to someone else. And that is the gravest sin in Islam. And that's why, you know our testimony, someone who, when become Muslim, someone must reject that I should not worship any false god. I'll be worshipping the true God. By rejecting the false god first, then you accept the true God and you will worship alone. And that goes in line with fitra, which is the innate disposition of human being. God created every human being knowing there is a maker. He or may may not know the name of it, but you know deep down there was a one maker who created us. I've got a question. Yes. Uh, our curse is real? Sorry? Our curse is real. I, I didn't hear it. Our curse is real. Curse. Curses. Uh, curses, yeah. Curses, why not? When? You can, you can, you can curse. But it's, it's up to Allah to accept it or not. Is magic real? There are magic real. And the magic is one of the big sin in Islam. In fact, some of the scholars said, if you do magic, in, not all of them, some of the scholars said, in fact, if you do magic, it will take you uh, the fold of Islam. Means you will be not Muslim anymore. So magic are real, but it's been forbidden. We should not go near there. You know, Allah said, in every Friday prayer, Allah said, uh, in, in our khutbah, in a mosque, most often Imam reminded us, Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsan wa ita'iz al qurba wa yanha'an al fahshai wal munka. Stay away from the fawahish, the munka, bad stuff. So the Muslim, 
not are encouraged to do good stuff. We are told to stay away from the sinful stuff, munkar, fawahish, the, the things, illicit stuff that God displeased with. Because God created us, He given us command what should we do and what shouldn't. So, if I start praying, even if I don't, if I, if I hadn't heard about Islam and mm. I started praying, would, like if I started praying for forgiveness, would He forgive? Me? Yes. If, if you sincerely ask for God for forgiveness, Allah will forgive you with the condition that you, it has to be sincerely. So if you are sincere, Allah will forgive you. That's the simple. And so then... If you believe in a different God, then you don't... Uh, if you believe in a different God, but like, it's still good, right? I mean, God is good. So if you ask for forgiveness, will you still be forgiven if you think it's a different God? So the question is, the God said He legislated a religion for you, means a way for you. And if you look at Islam, the concept of God does not if you look at other religious concept of God, is different. So therefore, we cannot say these three religions are same. So in Islam, Allah tells us, you, I only accept Islam, means this is only true submission, means you do not give any share of worship to anybody else in Islam. That's why the, the biggest difference is shirk. We call it association of partner. But Islamic God, is that the same as the... The God of the heavens and the earth, yes. So if, you, if you're a Christian, you believe in God and you ask for forgiveness, do you still go to heaven or like... Not no, no, heaven? because in Christianity, the, your worship will be misdirected. Means, if you worship to God and if you worship to man at the same time, so your worship going to the Jesus. Right. So in that way, you actually taking the gods right away and giving it to Jesus. So that's why we call it in Islam, this is a misdirection of worship. So whoever do misdirection of worship, this will not be accepted from him. What does Islam say about having long hair? No, you can have. It's a sunnah. Prophet, Prophet actually had long hair. Yeah. But you accept. You know Muhammad Islam is a messenger. Yeah. You believe in God, right? Uh, do you believe uh, Muhammad Islam is a messenger of God? What? Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Well, I, I didn't meet him, so I couldn't tell you, but yeah. so, probably wasn't. Basically, Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger, and he came to Arabia 1400 years ago, and he preached the same message, sorry, he preached the same message of Abraham, worship God alone, and do not worship anything beside God, the true God. So, when he came to Arabia, people asked him where is the evidence that you are the prophet and the biggest evidence he brought to them is the Quran and Quran posed many challenges one of the challenges is to produce something like it means this book declaring that this is from God if you think that this is not from God then God given us three challenges either produce a full book like it or either make ten chapter like it or either make a chapter like it the smallest chapter may be three verse in Surah Kausar, three verse, produce a chapter like it. So this is an objective challenge, Quran posed, and making sure Allah is telling with authority that you will not be able to produce it. And even the scholars of linguistic scholars looked into that challenge, and those are specialized in this field, they concluded this is not even possible. Even artificial intelligence, they tried it, even they said it is not possible. In, even in the AI. Are you a scholar? Sorry, second. Are you a scholar? No, I am not a scholar. I'm a student. I'm learning. So I'm just saying Everybody this is the comp yeah. So the compelling evidence is here, so that no one should reject it on the day of judgment. Imagine when God will resurrect everyone. You would not say, "Oh, I didn't understand the message." When the compelling evidence come to you, and you have seen, you have learned about the messenger, and you reject him then the gravity is serious. So, is hell uh, permanent? Like if you go to hell, uh, is that permanent? So, Allah said, خَالِدِينَ فِي هَابَ That you will be staying there forever. Yes, it is. If you, if you disbelieve entire your life and you die on that state, yes, it is. Because you eternally have rejected. Means God knows, even if you even if you're given another life, you'll be still doing that. But if you believe in God, and you have like sinned, and you, don't, you forget to... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you believe, you will definitely go to paradise. So even if you, even if you sin... You even if you sin, even if it is requires some punishment, after the punishment, you can go to the heaven. Okay.
Do you want to take the step? Huh? Do you want to take the step to become a Muslim? I'll definitely read this. Okay. Uh, is that recording? Yes. Is, uh, You'll be able to see it. What, what's, uh, I'll, I'll give you the name. I'm the channel name. What's the channel name? Uh, Dawah to Soul. Soul. So I'll, I'll write it for you. Yeah, so, I've got, got pen. So, investigate uh, the challenges. So, the inimitability of Quran, which is the the challenges that the Quran is unique because it's God books. God books is unique because God is not writing like a human being. He has a special style. And Allah is telling, look, I can make it within the letter you have also available in the alphabet. I have produced something with the same letter you already know. Why can't you produce it and I can produce it? You see, this is one of the miraculous nature of the Quran. And that's why we say Quran is the greatest of miracles. Because why? It's recorded all the miracle within the miracle and it's been declared in a way that no one can produce it. So that no one can say, oh, Prophet Muhammad is producing. Yeah. Yeah. My friend, you're joking. You're too much obsessed with religion. Religion is not a solution. To make you to make you a fool. So this is the channel, so you can have a look and have a look into the Quran. I'll give you a copy of the Quran. You have it? You got a copy? Yeah. Have a read and, you know, ask Allah for guidance because we believe the, the creator of the heavens and the earth is the one who guides. Is it okay if I study other religions as well, but only... Of course you can. You should investigate. Like I said, God given you this ultimate reality and the intellectual faculties. You should apply it. And you can see for yourself how Islam is so rational. Why Islam's compelling evidence? Muhammad, why Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Why Quran is the unique book that, unlike any other books, religious book, all of the religious books have been corrupted, and Quran is intact and preserved for all of the human beings. You get reincarnated. Like, are there scenarios where you get reincarnated? So, when you say reincarnated, do you mean like we come in a different form, or yeah. well, I have prayed? Yeah. yeah. You get like, I mean. Like no, what we say in Islam believe that once we die, we'll have a day of judgment. On that day, everybody, every creature will be resurrected bodily. And Allah will accountable, make accountable to uh, all of our deeds. You know, like Allah will bring evidences. Allah placed angels to write our record. And all those records are recorded in a book. So Allah will make it appear to you so that you can see it, what you have done. You see, but end of the day, Allah's mercy will be prevail His wrath. So we have more chance of going to the paradise if you hope for it. Now it's your choice. You need to make that choice. And then Allah will make it easy for you. I'll definitely read this. Thank you. Look after yourself. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. How are you? How are you?